Hello, welcome to Blue Harvey Toys. It's going to be a really quick one today. Uh, I've just got this from the prop store. I do get to their catalogues now and again. They do usually send me the poster, film posters, because I bought film posters from them before. But this is uh, quite interesting. Won't be able to afford anything in there. <laughs> but we're going to have a quick look through it. Uh, it goes through four days from 3rd to 6th of November. It's not something I probably will live stream but uh, I just want to uh, show you this and how much these things are going for so we've got aliens aliens things there you can see the prices are quite ridiculous but I, I mean it is it is screen it is actual Bill Paxton's actual outfit so you're gonna be paying that aren't you uh, models the models uh, the hoverboard from back to the future um, it is the actual one. Six, uh, 60,000 to 100,000. That would be quite something to have if you had that kind of money. Uh, the Batman, Batarang, still quite expensive, but you know, if you want to have any kind of prop, you know, that's the kind of thing you want to get in it to the, like, the lower end. I mean, unless you can afford this. I mean, that is a screen matched. So as I, as I, understand screen match that is something that is exactly same as the one that was on screen even though it's not the one so you're still paying quite a bit for it unless it was like a, a second there was the bit two and it was just i don't know anyway i will find out uh, i would like I, I always wanted to build my own r2 or a uh, astromed droid uh, this one sold 125,000 which um, it's quite, it's a bit cheaper just to, to build you on. But yes, that is from Rogue One. Remote control droids, you can do that, uh, but be for about 10 grand, I would have thought, 10, 15 grand. I mean, you probably don't have to spend that much. You make it a wood and everything like that. So, um, but it is from Rogue One. And yeah, you can probably find that in Rogue One if you watch it. Wilson, again, a screen matched. So maybe there were, I think there'll have been more than one. I think I think what, what it is, is uh, obviously there'll have been more than one. And may, maybe the one that wasn't on the movie, but it's exactly the same. So we've got a Dalek, 12, eight to 12 grand. We've got a Fraggle Rock puppet. One of the originals, pretty cool. 40 to 60, wow, you've got to really, really like the Fraggles for that, haven't you? So we've got, uh, since it's Halloween coming up, we've got some um, horror stuff got Friday 13th, Freddy vs. Jason, Hellraiser, I love Hellraiser, and uh, gloves and everything. So we've got now that is saying 100 to 150,000. I know these go for about 30,000. The first edition hard book, they don't go for that much, but you know, maybe, maybe it would. They do come up quite often, really. I'd love to find one. Uh, but yeah, they, they, I mean they've been found in skips and places like that, silly places. The library's been throwing them out, and anyway, I don't think it, I don't think it's worth that much. Uh, maybe maybe it's gone up a bit now. I don't know. Anyway, um, the the wand, Harry Potter's wand. We've got James Bond. We've got uh, Little Nell's helmet that he was in Little Nell. Got Gandalf's sword. Got the mummy book, which is pretty cool. Lost Boys coat. That's that is pretty cool. I, I'm not a big fan of the mummy, but that is that is really nice. I like Gandalf's sword, sword obviously. Uh, we've got a Johnny Seven full size light up Johnny Seven. We've got the Bible from Shawshank. We've got Yoda's Yoda's coat. Obi Wan's lightsaber, Vader's gloves. I would like, I would like Vader's gloves. They'd be nice to be put on my uh, full size Vader. So we've got the actual costume that Christopher Reeve wore, which would be really cool. Two hundred and fifty to five hundred thousand, which, yeah, you can understand why it's going for that. So we've got uh, 
Victoria's crown. Looks so like young Victoria. Got the Wonder Woman tiara. We've gone to music stuff. We've got uh, Noel Gallagher's guitar. We've got that. It's pretty cool. Paul McCartney's actual blazer he wore on uh, Markham and Weiss. Twenty-five to thirty-five thousand. A lot of Beatles stuff. <laughs> the speakers from Abbey Road. This is probably the the thing that I do that I would most like in this catalogue, and that is uh, David Bowie's Ashes to Ashes. Major Tom Space so that is fantastic. Sixty to eighty grand, but that'll be would be fantastic to have. So we've got Elvis's gun license. <laughs> We've got uh, George Harrison's banjo. Dave Grohl's notes, handwritten set list from Sheffield University. That's cool. 1991. Uh, Michael Jackson's glove. Noel Gallagher's guitar again. In an Oasis case, and that's going for 300 to 500 thousand. Um, three guitars from no the handwritten lyrics for Wonderwall 4,000 to 6,000. Uh, we've got some, uh, we've got the amplifier for Oasis, that's pretty cool. I'd like that. William Gallagher's uh, coat, that's that's brilliant. Yeah, it's either the David Bowie one or that one for me and uh, Slash's jacket. So yeah, that's just a quick quick video. I don't know how quick it was, but there we go. Um, prop star, if anybody wants does want me to live stream it, I mean, it's gonna go for four days, so third to six. Um, we'll do it, if you if, if you get enough people saying, please comment in below, in below if you want me to, uh, to do it. But um, until next time, thank you for watching. May toys be with you.